Hello, my name is Antonio Souza, and I'm a show production student from Brazil. And today I'll be interviewing Rui Miranda, a Portuguese recording professor here at Fuso University. So Rui, what, uh, what do you see as a role of the visual arts in society today, particularly in your profession? Uh, yeah, well, today visual arts, of course, is very important uh, for the audience because technology and the end of thing, majority of people are very visual. So on my job is to make sure that the audio balance with the visual arts. Mm -hmm. So to, to make sure that that does not distract the, the audience in a way that, oh, the audio is in one part and the visual is not. Now they have to be combined. When you go see a movie, you want to make sure that the visual and the, the audio, that's actually the, what the director asked to us is make sure the visuals and the audio balance together so that's very important on our on our side so uh in new communications and media technology uh make imagery almost in, uh instantly available do you believe that this is having a positive or negative influence in the field industry provide explanations well um wow uh let's see um Trying to read again the question, so I understand. <laughs> so you say new communications and media technologies make uh, imagery almost instantly available. Well, it's true. I mean, uh, that's why even here at Full Cell, we talk a lot about, uh, in certain degrees, more specific in the visual arts, uh, about this transmedia, you know, and uh, I, you heard all around, even when I go out now and you go to the real world, that's the world you know, some word that you see right away. And so technology today is very important, like a commercial, right? Mm -hmm. And you see a car commercial, and, and the car commercial has to be beautiful, but uh, with a car, it has to be maybe a beautiful woman, or may maybe it's James Bond there, but why? Mm -hmm. To attract the people, to yeah. attract the people to yeah. buy the car, right? Mm -hmm. So the visual aspect with the technology is instantly, you know, available also by what? By, you know, now, I mean, I see even people doing small shootings with phones, Phone, yeah. you know, and then they post on YouTube. I mean, so really it's so available today that somebody can be in a, in an event and suddenly the, if there is a, an accident, so people can like a bad weather, you know, mm -hmm. like a tornado, you have people instantly record that, send to the weather channel and you are watching live things. So yeah. this is very important. So that, that's. So, uh, in the industry, what popular images do you see uh, that are frequently repeated to your industry? Like, images, just images, pictures. I mean, everything. I mean, basically because the image has the sound behind, and every sound have to match what the image say mm -hmm. uh, represents. So, uh, every time you watch that, but I'm trying to see, uh, kind of to think some more specific. Um, what is the one favorite visual uh, and your favorite style? Oh, what popular image do you see that are frequently repeated through your throughout your industry? Well, equipment for sure is always <laughs> around, but uh, image. If we talk about, I mean, uh, I will say the uh, technology uh, image that mm -hmm. represented the the evolution of the time. You know, before. You know, you had these gigantic computers. Now you have little cell phones that do almost what that thing doing. Like the, you know, the the, the the little chip that was invented years ago that does this specific. Now we have chips that does million of things at the same time. Yeah. So that is the image that comes more particular with the area that I'm interesting. But mm -hmm. of course, let's say if I'm a designer, a clothes designer, or a, a designer, I, I've just the color will be something that will be impact and will be repeatedly uh, on my, uh, you know, yep. in, in, in for in me. The industry. So who is one of your favorite visual artists and what is your favorite uh, style of visual art? Wow, visual art. <laughs> I mean, I had, you know, before I came to Full Cell, I had some architecture classes where we teach a little bit more the, you know, the visual and artists, painters, you know, like Van Gogh, P mm -hmm. Picasso, things like that. Uh, and because Picasso was mainly like Spain, he lived a lot there. Uh, we study a lot him, Van Gogh. So these artists is what, based on the question you asked me, if you talk about artists, visual artists, um, you for the visual arts really that painters and like Michelangelo painting, mm -hmm. you know, all this that. Uh, yeah, yep. uh, the the um, the the Da Vinci one, uh, the painting. The what is the name? 
Gandalf. Uh, Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. There we go. So those are the visuals, really, that uh, my favorites are there because the, the, the story that they represent and what those artists represented to the modern era. So, That's big, yeah. yes. So how has your knowledge of famous artworks influenced your creative process? Uh, Mon that, I, I will say it started Full Sail. Until I came to Full Sail, I did not really learn how to... Um, thinking creatively i was always mm -hmm. more you know in a in a logic thinking because i was right electronic engineer so mm -hmm. i had to follow always like and here you do too but you use your creativity to develop and productions to develop um you know marketing uh to develop uh, develop um promo mm -hmm. uh, uh promo kind of advertising and all that so really i start and when i start full sale this will really went push me i remember on the second month we have this class to find out left brain right brain you know yeah. i think you had that class too before and uh, uh, that's what i really kind of start to uh understand the knowledge and the, the artwork some people put it in to represent the uh, uh, their work and their creativity. So I think that's what uh, mainly I'm trying to see if that yeah, what, influence. Yeah, influence my creative. Yeah, it was that. It was coming to Full Sail and work with other students and uh, push the, their creativity yeah, together. Their creativity. Yeah, so definitely if it was at that All time. Right. Well, thank you, Hood, for being part of the show. Thank you for being an interview and have a nice day. Hey, thank you. Thank you for uh, the questions.